hello everyone for our group we choose tragedy exploited by ferdinand i quintos so before we jump on to the literary piece itself let's first know who is ferdinand i quintos so ferdinand i quintos was born in bayambang pangasinan philippines he is the 10th child of his father who has six child first in his first marriage. He holds a bachelor arts degree, major in political science, and minor in English. He finished his studies of law at Far Eastern University of Manila in 1971 and took the bar examinations in administered by the country's Supreme Court on the four Sundays of September in that same year. He passed the examination he took oath of office on March 7, 1972 and signed the role of attorneys on the 10th day of March, 1972. He appears on the book number 10, which is X, the numerical number. He got married on the 4th day of the 10th month of 1964. So, he became a prosecutor in the office of the city fiscal of Davao City. And while practicing the law, he entered the journalism world as a columnist and a puzzle constructor of the first daily in Davao City and Mindanao. And he was later become an editor-in-chief of that paper. In order for him to prevent losing these poems, he complied many of his poems in a book entitled Indian Summer, Poetry of Attorney Ferdinand L. Quintos. In January 1990, he joined the Philippine Commission on Human Rights, or CHR, but he retired afterwards. And during on his vacant hours, he would scribble poems which he keeps away after finishing them. So he has written many, but everything was lost during many transfers of residence due to his professional work. So, while he is a CHR, which he composes small poems on his cell phones, which he printed into a small volume entitled Cell Poems, he went into a extensive poetry writing in English and Tagalog in Pang and in the Pangasinan language, which afterward, which afterwards in his resignation. He creates special poems like name poem and alphabet poem among others. So, for the literary piece itself, let's all first read The Tragedy Exploited by Ferdinand I. Quintos. Times of tragedies and calamities bring out in man contrasting qualities done with what is called equanimity. Calmness and evenness of mind, they say. Typhoon Yolanda brought the crucible with her wrath and fury so horrible. In Tacloban, a Visayas city, one place that bore its full ferocity. Many people ignored their own safety, each fired up by true equanimity to save precious lives, salvage property, impose on self as a civic duty. In sharp contrast on videograph scene, humongous group of evil mended men, equanimously prowled with evil thought, search here and there for things to take as loot. All the while God was surely looking down, observing who he will recompense well, marking off with fearful imperial frown the man whose soul will be destined to hell. So that's it for the poem. Now let's discuss the elements of this poem. Um, first, the meter. It is called as trochaic decameter since each syllable begins with um, unstressed then stressed syllable. In its rhyme scheme, so obviously it has rhymes. However, each stanza has different rhyme schemes. Having, for example, in the first line, A, A, B, C, while the second line has D, D, E, E, and the third line has E, 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 and so, so on and so forth. So, for the subject of the poem, it is all about the realistic events happened in Tacloban City, which is about the Typhoon Yolanda and further discussed by the next presenter in our group. So, it's figurative language and poetic devices. Some 
figures of speech can be observed in the poem, for example, personification. The example in the line, Typhoon Yolanda brought the crucible with her wrath and fury so horrible. With its keyword, her, which is pertaining to a typhoon, not a person. So next is the theme of the poem. It is all about the calamity which is about Typhoon Yolanda, and lastly, the tone and mood of the poem is about hope, catastrophe, equanimity, and equality in times of calamities of the people. So that's it.